We're now in section 8 of our AutoCAD electrical title and as you can see there we have a project 08 panel layouts and the drawing we're in is panel footprints from schematics and you can see there it's sheet 01. Now what we're going to generate here is a footprint from an existing schematic. So what I've got here, if we zoom out slightly, I've got a circuit there, I've got a motor, as you can see an overload and a relay there. And what I'm going to do is generate a footprint from those schematic components there. So I go to the panel tab here on the ribbon and in the insert component footprint panel on the ribbon here, if I click on the fly out here, I've got schematic list. I click on schematic list there and as you can see now it's listing in the active project F1, M1, Q1. Those are my components here. Those ones there. So let's have a look at that now and let's have a look at what we've got to do here. I need to insert those into a footprint. Can you see that there? So I select the components. I can either use shift or control there as you can see and select those components there. I then insert those on an automatic footprint lookup. So I hit insert and there's the insert order there. So I can prompt for each location or if it's a regular footprint that I know I'm going to use over and over again you might use uniform spacing. I'm going to use prompt for each location and OK that. Now I'm going to make a catalogue assignment for automatic footprint selection here. Now I can use my catalogue lookup or I can just use a manual footprint selection or creation. I'm going to use catalogue lookup because we've got loads of components already. So this is for the first one which was F1. So I'm going to select just the top one from the list there and OK that. And as you can see that's in and I'll OK that now. So that's added. So this component's catalogue part number was not found in the footprint lookup file. I can either insert a simple marker, manually draw a symbol or select a block from a dialogue listing or I can add an entry to the manufacturer or miscellaneous lookup table. So I can then assign a panel footprint to that catalogue number. So I can do that either way. If I go here and just pick a non-AutoCAD electrical block, for example, what I could have in the drawing is just a block to represent that. So let's do that. Let's just cancel that a second. And what I could do here is literally just draw, I'll just close that as well, just draw a small rectangle. So I'll go here to the Home tab on the ribbon there, and I'm just going to draw a small rectangle. Nothing special, just there, like that. Now I go back to Panel. I go back to Schematic List here. I select my components like so and I insert on the footprint table. I'll OK that again, prompt for each location like before and now I pick a non-AutoCAD electrical block, that one there. It needs to be a block insert, can you see that? All that was was a polyline, so I'll OK that, cancel it and come out again and I'll close that again. So that's actually got to be a block. So. I'll just make it into a block. I'll go here to home like so and I need to generate a block. Block is here so I go create and the name of the block will be let's say block. In fact we'll call it block 1 like so. And base point I'll specify that on the screen or I can pick a point. I'll just use that corner there. So let's put our O snap on there on the bottom and I'll put the end point snap on and OK that and I'll just use that endpoint snap there. Select the block, so it's there like so. That's all done, I'll OK it. So that is now a block. As you can see, it's a block reference there. So if I now go back to panel, I now go back to schematic list here, and I'll just select my F1 this time as a footprint, and you'll notice there, look, I've got to select all of the components. Can you see that? Before insert highlight, so I go insert, Insert order there, I'll OK that. I pick the block like so, which is there, and there we are. So I can add some information to that now and use it over and over again. So I'll just give it an item number. Let's call it 0001, and I'll OK that. Now I can apply catalog data to that if I want to. I'll OK it there, 
takes a few seconds to think about it and that's done so I'll OK that like so and I'll close that and if I zoom in real close now the text is actually a little bit small but there it is can you see the F1 has been assigned a footprint from the schematic so that could be anything but you could have a whole group of electrical components in there linked to that footprint so that's how these panel footprints work and it allows you just to reuse and re-edit data over and over again in AutoCAD Electrical.